hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm super excited to be filming my first week tutorial so if you guys want to see how i slay this crochet week from start to finish then you know what to do keep on watching The first thing we're going to need is a styrofoam head, a wig cap, the front and the back is like this. The wig cap has a hook and is very stretchy. We're going to need T-pins or this type of pins, a pair of scissors, the crochet itself and the hair we're going to use for this tutorial. Normally, I place my styrofoam head in between my lap, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use one of my tripod. So I'm wrapping a tissue paper around the edge so it doesn't destroy the styrofoam head. So I'm placing the styrofoam head on the tripod and I'm going to cut the hair into two. But if you want yours to be long, you can as well leave it this way. But I'm cutting mine into two because I want it in a shorter length. I'm going to place the wig cap on the styrofoam head and pin it down with the T-pin. So now I'm going to start doing the crochet. I'm separating one strand into two. I'm going to leave a link to where you can get a styrofoam head, this type of wig cap and T-pins. So if you're interested, you might as well check the description box. After that, I'm going to take one side of the hair separate it into two and then tie it the second time so that is it i'm just repeating the same step all through the hair So I'm going to skip one line and move over to the next line. But if you don't want yours to be that full, you can skip two lines and move to the third line. So I'm repeating the same step till I get to the top of the hair.
you see the blunt ends we don't want that on our wig so I'm going to show you how to get that off to make the wig look as natural as possible so we're going to take our pair of scissors instead of cutting straight we're going to scrape downward So guys, this is the end result. I hope you guys liked this video and you find it helpful. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to click the bell close to the subscription button so you don't miss any updates from me. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.